Hello my friends. I got an iPod here. And I'm going to turn this thing on to pressure cook. Uh, 42 minutes, that's that's too long. We're gonna need all that. We're gonna need about 20 minutes. I'm gonna pressure cook 20 minutes. Now, right here, I got some garlic, okay? Also known as ajo. I got some onions and some leeks. Oh yeah. These leeks are, oh God, delicious. Now, um, you might have noticed that I have an accent, so I speak Spanish. Ajo, cebolla, and uh, I don't know what leeks is in Spanish. I'm going to have to figure that out. But we got, we got this uh, pressure iPod. I just love this thing. And the reason, why, why am I doing this? Why am I doing, why am I showing you how to cook some why am I showing you how to cook some fucking beans? Alright, i tell you why. You see this? These are garbanzo beans, but you know, there's a lot of different kind of beans. I know, red beans, black beans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some garbanzo beans today. And, uh, you know, why, why, why do women think that they can cook some rice and beans for you and take over, take over your life? You know, some women think that cause, because they bore you a couple of children and, and cook rice and beans for you for a few years. Now they, they have a right to your retirement account, your property, your 401k, you know, and they want to throw you out on the street. Take your kids away. Man, you, all you gotta do is learn to cook for yourself. Learn to cook for yourself, man. Be independent of this of this uh, female uh, financial predators who think because they cook for you a couple of times a week for a few years and they bear you a couple of children now you are beholden to them for the rest of your life as your fucking slave no that ain't gonna happen no more not if I can help it you know I'm getting a divorce I'm happy to I'm happy to I'm happy to say that and she's She's, a, she's she's cutting like I am. They're worst. They're the worst. Oh God. Ooh, all right. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm, the one thing about garlic is, it's so delicate. Dang it. All right. This thing wants to burn some. Ooh. So let's not let it burn. Let's give it something to do. See that? Saying burn. I love, I love this iPod. It keeps me on the, it keeps me on the spot. I put some onions in there. I'm gonna put some leeks in there. And I have previously worked on the, all this. You know, I I worked on all this. Previously, because man, but I do not want to use the garlic just now. The garlic is so sensitive, really sensitive to heat. Man. It will burn in, in a jiffy if you, if you don't watch it. All right, 
Now, I got, got to put this garlic away. Get this bean, this uh, garbanzo beans ready to throw in the pot. I'm gonna put this away so that I can put them at the right time. And I'm gonna get some. Do you believe I'm gonna get some sausage out here? And I'll be back. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Now, do I, do I need to, do I need to make a video how to make sausage? Really? And just, you know. Okay, fine. I'll make a video. How to make sausage. But right now, I want some garbanzo beans with some garnish and some sausage. Oh yeah, I love these knives. These these knives are so great. Oh, look at that! Perfect. All right, so we're gonna have we're gonna add some sausage, the garbanzo beans. We haven't told the garbanzo beans about it just yet. Woo! -hoo! Oh, yeah. Take a look at this. Take a look at this, my friends. Uh, that's just onions and leeks doing their thing in the pressure cooker. Uh, all right. Now that you have an idea what's going on. Can I just pour some sausage on here? All right, this is sausage. Just mix it up, mix it up real good. Mix it up real good. Oh yeah. And this, 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 that sausage is already cooked. And garbanzo beans. Yeah, I know. I need to tell you exactly how much garbanzo beans. There you go. Like it. Like it. Now, it's going to be a little dry. Am I going to need to? Am I going to need some moisture in here? I might need some moisture. Let's see what I can come up with for moisture. All right, now these are all of this stuff. Canned tomatoes. I had just saved this from a from a can of fresh. Tomatoes that, that come canned in their own juice, sauce, whatever. I just so all right, fine. I'm just gonna put a little water in there. Not too much. Look, that's like I don't know, a couple ounces. Of water. Oh, this is beginning to look good. Am I supposed to be concerned about all this stuff? There you go. Now, guys, why am I showing you this? You'll need, you'll need to decide that you can cook your own beans, your own rice. Because, you know, some of these women when, the, when divorce time rolls around, and it will, 
They want your kids. They want your 401k. They want your retirement account. They want your property. They want your home. Because they've been cooking for you for 10, 12, 15, 20 years, whatever. And they bore you a couple of children. So now you're the slave. You owe them everything you ever worked for. It do not matter how hard the job was that you did for 20. I drove for five and a half years. And before that, I had an office job. And before that, I had a customer service job. And never mind. But it doesn't matter what you do, man. You can be digging ditches. Ditches want all the money. They want the kids. They want to throw you out on the street. Because they've been cooking rice and beans for you. Make your own rice and beans, man. Save yourself a headache. Okay, now I've been talking to you about rice and beans. One minute left on the garbanzo beans on the iPod. I'm gonna get started with the rice because you know, I mean, you gotta have rice if you're gonna have beans, right? Plug it in. Plug it in here if you can do that. All right, plug it in. Now this 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 is brown rice. I fill this cup with rice. Washed it, let it water three times. Got all the foamy stuff out. And I'm gonna push a button called salty. Saute and simmer. All right, saute and simmer. All right, well, you know, before I put the rice in there. Oh, look at that. The beans. I think the beans are done. See that? Zero. Now, the pressure is still on. Garbanzo, garbanzo beans. Now I got the rice. And what am I going to do here? No. Now, normally I just throw the rice in here. Put some water in there. And be done with it. But I'm going to show you something. If you put a little oil in here. Not too much. All right. All right. And we're going to let it heat up for a minute or two. Oh, this is a salad that I prepared yesterday. Yeah, it's not the freshest, but I put some fresh croutons. Mm. What about doing this? Well, I want to. I just want to share with you guys that you, you know you you can do, you can manage your kitchen, you can manage your food. You don't have to depend <coughs> on the women because they think that. You're you're enslaved to them because they cook for you. That's, this is not right. And if we work every day, we go out, we put our uniforms on, and we report. We climb the power lines. We go down in the sewer lines. Whatever we need to do, and then. They want it all. They want our 401k. They want our property and our kids because they've been cooking rice and beans for us for whatever, whatever many years. There's something wrong with that. I'm in the middle of a divorce right now. I, I should say I'm three quarters done with it. Make my own coffee. I make my own salad. I make my own rice. I make my own beans. What has she got on me? <laughs> I 
let's move forward. As this sits up, yeah, it's gonna want some something in it. So sometimes when I'm not doing anything, I, I, I just chop some onions, slice some onions, and freeze them. And uh, here we go. And then leeks, and I will store them somewhere. See, these are these are frozen onions. They're, they're delicious. And I don't necessarily have to use a special bag. This 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 bag was this bag was chicken and vegetable. Wrappers, uh, <laughs> but the bag is, is solid. You, you, know, you can tell a good bag when you see one. This, this is a better bag than, than some of those freezer bags. So when I finish with this product, I kept the bag. I kept the bag. I, I filled it up with sliced onions and some leeks. Here we go. Now I normally don't even do all that. You know what? I'm just going to empty this. Few leaks I have in this container right in this bag because I normally use them together. So now I can seal it and for the next cooking batch, whatever I make, it'll be ready. Let's close this up. Coffee. All right. All right. Okay, so 12 minutes since it was done. It's still under pressure. Uh, this is the rice, this is my rice maker. Mmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, maybe a little. All right. Here we go. We're gonna put some rice in here. All right, here we go. Now, rice is the greatest. You can add onions or scallions or whatever, or you can leave it alone. But one thing that you you do need to add is salt. You cannot get away without salt. Salt is a must. All right, now what, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna let it saute, sofritar, just a tad. And, uh, I, use, I use one of these of rice, so I'm gonna use two of these of water. One. 
tool. Now, uh, I don't want to put it in right away. No, the, the rice maker is handy, but you don't have to have it. You can make rice on anything, you know, in a regular pot, right on the stove, stove top. You know, regular top, stove top, what I'm talking about. If you don't want to have rice, I, I, I just like, this thing is like 12 years old. You know, as a matter of fact, let me just clean out some of the leeks and onions that were on this container because I want to throw it in the pot here momentarily. 15 minutes for the beans. No, I didn't put any, any salt on this. <laughs> Oh, here we go. All right, here we go. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some salt on the garbanzo beans. You know, that was, that was, that was totally inappropriate to leave salt off of the garbanzo beans. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, man. You got to check this out. You got to check this out. I'm going to check this out, man. Beautiful. Here we go. What do you think? Huh? Ah, oh, you're gonna have some good stuff here. There's that, there's that sausage, a little bit of tomato. All right, here we go. So now, now that you can cook for yourself, you don't have to rely on this on these women who bear your children and they want to keep you beholden to themselves because you know they cook rice and beans for you and some reason or another, they believe, they believe that bearing children is a special gift that they, only they can exercise when it is really nothing more than a biological dictate. And, you know, this part will quit when the rice is ready. The beans are ready. The rice will be ready. You'll have enough food here for a few meals, if not two or three days. And you are free, my friend. Thank you for watching. Well, my friends, I'm going to turn off the iPod. It's been 25 minutes since it finished. So let's just uh, cancel off. The rice is still going strong. And I wanted to take a minute for an aside. Of my kitchen sink. This is what it looks like when I'm done. Everything is washed and racked in the drying rack and nothing is left behind. And I have so many pictures of that because unfortunately regardless of how much work I did, how dedicated I was, what I did for my children. 